Hi everyone welcome back to another Reddit cheating story. Before we start please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you love to watch more cheating stories. Want to learn how to get back your ex? Check the link in the description box to learn how. I, 29YOM, virtually cheated on my ex, 29YOF, for over a year, long. I've never posted properly on here before and I am doing so as part of my healing process. I cheated for over 12 months with my ex-girlfriend of almost 2 years by using dating apps to meet random girls to sext and send nudes to. We had a long-distance relationship, which started during lockdown. We had worked together for over a year previously. I was mad about her from the minute I met her. She also lost her dad in July 2020 after a long illness, while we were texting and I didn't go to the funeral. I regretted this and made some other bad decisions relating to my religious beliefs, which I'll get into. The relationship was additionally charged by the fact that I was brought up as a very devout Christian as part of a cult-like sect. I had an incredible amount of unhealthy beliefs about myself, others, relationships and the world in general. I believe the world was a dangerous, sinful place with no sources of joy, as only God can provide that. I believed in many strict rules no sex before marriage, men being superior to women and generally that being in the religion was the only way to be truly content. I attended three to four services per week as non-attendance was sin. I had no personal accountability as Jesus apparently forgives all sins so no need to worry. I also believed sin was everything from murder to breaking the speed limit by a tiny margin. Thus my moral development was extremely limited. So I tried to change my ex constantly. When she constantly told me she wouldn't I would get really angry. I was a horrendous boyfriend. I was extremely manipulative and was so deceitful and dishonest. I had no respect for her, the relationship or myself. We fought more and more as the relationship got harder and harder. I loved her and still love her. But I still wasn't willing or able to stop cheating. The cheating started during lockdown in November 2020. It started with us having a massive fight about not being able to see one another as the relationship was long distance and the COVID-19 restrictions meant that we couldn't legally see one another. After the fight, I decided to punish her, which is insanely toxic, so I went on Tinder and started matching girls. I masturbated while doing so and ejaculated soon after. Then the guilt arose and I deleted the app immediately. I never told her. This process was repeated again and again, as we fought regularly. The first time I felt bad for six weeks until we fought again and the same thing happened. Then I started to lose hope as we fought more and behaved this way constantly. I sexted a lot of girls and matched hundreds. I would see my ex every two to three weeks. For the first week it would be okay and then I would start using the apps again and by a week or two later, I would be on Snapchat or WhatsApp, sexting heavily. I tried to stop numerous times but wouldn't or couldn't. I never met anyone from the apps, nor had I any interest in doing so. It was all online. I spent a fortune on premium memberships on Tinder and Bumble and deleted my profile after a few hours, trying to stop using them after I would ejaculate every time. The shame and guilt built and built to the point where nothing seemed to make sense or matter. I ended up getting banned from Tinder, although I'm not sure why. The last time I used it I accidentally set my gender to being a female and was interested in girls, so I am guessing someone reported me for that or simply the fact I had such strange use of the app in creating numerous profiles. I justified it in my head because I was angry at her, at my parents for raising me in such a twisted religion and myself for not being able to choose between her and the religion. This spilled over into my work, my friendships and general day-to-day -day life also. Leaving the religion meant hell but keeping her and staying in the religion meant losing her. Talk about lose-lose when you believe both. So to escape this anger, I used dating apps and sexted. In addition to listening to music all day long, intensely training, endless hours on YouTube, Netflix and playing rugby. Just to run away. I had used dating apps as a coping mechanism for years as I was exploring myself sexually and my online identity was my way of escaping celibacy. I would set up an account, sex for a few hours, feel guilty as if it was sin and delete the account or the girls off WhatsApp or Snapchat, having ghosted numerous girls. As I went through my teens and twenties, I saw my friends dating and having sex and felt jealousy and shame for not being able to do the same. Then in the relationship I stopped initially as I was madly in love with my ex but started this behavior when we fought as I didn't know how to cope with the fights and feelings of inadequacy, shame and anger. So then I got caught. I had my location set on Bumble to a different location to a city I was visiting the next weekend. One of her friends liked me. 
I saw her on premium and knew the game was up. I rang my ex and told her. I didn't tell her everything and dragged the thing out by lying about why I used it. I wasn't willing to be honest about any of it, until she discovered more and more by looking through my phone. She was so angry and hurt. It was dreadful. I felt immense shame and realized that I was a religious person but really had nothing. I had done shocking things to someone I loved more than anyone. I was completely warped by the beliefs instilled in me from being brought up in the religion. I felt suicidal and depressed as I had been going through the process of leaving the religion over a number of years. Sexting and apps were a form of coping. Between this and other healthy coping mechanisms, I tried to escape, without any luck. So I buried myself more and more in both. Anything except facing my demons. We broke up, after she came to my house to stay for a week. We had a lot of fights and then went to a rugby club dinner together and she spoke to my best friend. He was totally unaware of any of it. So they decided to leave me. Her and I were both devastated and ended up having two days of unprotected breakup sex afterwards. In that week I decided to leave the religion slash cult and told my family of my decision. It was not part of who I wanted to be anymore. I was depressed for about three months afterwards and still feel very sad about what has happened. It has been incredibly difficult for both of us. We met up again a month after breaking up in the city and discussed possibly getting back together. We were unsure and decided to try again but fought again. I spiraled and ran from the hotel we were staying in and ended up making an attempt on my life. I somehow decided not to and she was there for me afterwards. She brought me home to my parents' home and looked after me. Then she went home. It has been horrific. I have been to therapy every week since we broke up and have been able to work through so many of the toxic beliefs I have and understand why I did what I did. I understand why I lied. I understand why I felt suicidal and don't feel that way anymore. I don't believe that I need to be perfect for Jesus or God. I don't believe that I'm worthless. I have developed values and morals of my own. I have learned to respect and care for others. I have rediscovered passions like drawing, art and found balance with rugby and using the internet. I feel far more content and able to deal with my feelings. I have learned to love myself. I have met new people and reconnected with old friends that I lost touch with because I previously believed they were sinners. I have been on a few dates and have been back on dating apps, both of which are a bit shit but anyway, so be it. Journaling my experiences, thoughts and feelings have been very helpful. Mindfulness has helped too. I have tried to get outside every day and go for a walk with no earphones for at least 15 minutes. I train really hard for rugby and do my weights too. I'm still learning to be good to myself but it's getting easier. As for me and my ex, I don't really know what will happen. I still love her and she still loves me. We have talked a lot since she worried so much about my mental health. We fought a lot over things and she got hurt again when we were in an undefined period, where she could see my online activity on my Google Chrome account. I was confused and when she showed love to me and then withdrew, I got angry and looked up girls on my Facebook account as I wondered if I should move on or not. It hurt her and I didn't realize that. She has been really good to me despite everything. We had one final fight last Saturday and she decided to block me on all social media, WhatsApp, Twitter and my phone number. It's been a really tough week and I miss her a lot. I still love her and hope things work out. I have tried to make things up to her by buying her presents and gifts. But I realize that while I can understand the cheating and lying and can forgive myself, it doesn't mean she can or will. She has been the absolute best for me in this torrid time and I only want the best for her from air on. If that means us being apart, then I accept that. If I get another chance, I will not squander it. So that's it. I just wanted to share this with anyone who has been or is in the same or similar situation as this, I want you to know there is a way through. It is really hard, but you can get through it. It doesn't have to be the same way I have done things, but be open to support and help and you will get through. If you really love someone, tell them the truth. Be good to them by being honest. If you haven't cheated, tell them how you feel and be honest anyway, whether that's I love you and appreciate you so much or otherwise. Being honest and telling the truth is more important than anything. I learned that the hard way. I'd be interested to hear people's opinions and comments on my experience. Smile. Here are some of the best comments from our community. The fact that you got confused when your ex withdrew, then proceeded to get angry and punish her again by going to Facebook to find another girl just shows how you aren't ready. Sure you understood that it probably hurt her, but you still did it anyway and probably would do it again is the problem. 
if y'all were to get back together, it would end the same way it has the last few times. It's an unhealthy pattern for both you and her, and she's obviously trying to let go. You'd both be better off letting each other go. If y'all meet up again later in life than it was meant to be, and obviously right now it's probably not a good time. Try to just stay away from online meetups or dating apps completely, you'd be better off and you can cope another way. Then you won't be tempted. That's my one cent lol. You my friend need to grow the fuck up. But then you would be a grown up cheater. I can only wish bad karma onto you for the rest of your days. Cheaters deserve everything bad life can throw at them. Exclamation mark. Thank you for your time. Let me know what you think and I'll see it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.